Hey, Gary here with you. Today is day 29. Today's update, AI blogging is inside of Koala. Koala Rider specifically has released this bulk mode option. You can see here what it is. Use this mode to generate any number of articles at once. You've seen how I've done this in the past where I had to put in the target keyword, enter all the information, and then create, and then leave that tab open and make sure not to exit that tab because it would stop writing. With bulk mode, what you do is you simply paste in the target keyword, and we're gonna do this in this video so you can see how it works. And you do that one target keyword per line. I'm gonna show you one of the limitations that I've hit based upon the way that I've been doing this. But inside of the article queue, you can see I've actually done this with two keywords, black hole facts for kids, Big Bang Theory Universe Facts, and those articles have finished, and of course they were running in the background. And I have those right here, so I'm ready to upload those to Groove Blog. And one of the things about this is the way that I work, and you can see here that I've labeled this post written by Koala Bulk, because I am getting the keywords from Rank IQ. These are the fun fact posts, but I'm not running a Rank IQ report on these, and I'm going to show you why I'm not wasting my Rank IQ credits or the number of reports that I get inside of Rank IQ due to the limitation currently that I have inside of Koala Bulk. So I'm gonna take these three keywords right here that I just grabbed from Rank IQ, Butterfly Nebula Facts, Comic Facts for Kids, and Comic Interesting Facts. Of course, here are the facts inside of Rank IQ space. Here are the number of reports that I have left, and this is per month. So basically it's the same thing like your credits with Koala Rider. I only have 15 or 16 of these a month, so I'm down to 10. But if I'm not gonna run the reports of these facts and I'm down here in C, or actually I moved down, yeah, into C. <laughs> I forgot where I was at. B, C, so Comet Fact for Kids, Comet Interesting Facts, and Butterfly Nebula Facts. And I didn't run a Rank IQ report on those, so I won't be using the Content Optimizer or looking at the title. I'll just be taking what I get from inside of Koala Rider. And now we're gonna jump into the bulk mode. We're gonna stick with 3.5. Here you can see I'm doing a blog post. Of course, you could do the Amazon Roundup post as well. We're gonna get back into doing some of those sooner than later. And you can see here, what is the target keyword or article topic that you want to rank for? This is bulk mode. You can put separate keywords on new lines and we will create articles for each one. Now. SEO optimization, and this is where I usually use the Rank IQ to add these related keywords, entities, and topics. But inside of bulk mode, it didn't say or didn't give me an option to separate them. So if I had interesting related keywords and topics, and maybe if all three of these, for example, if I just did comment facts for kids and comment interesting facts, I might be able to, but I think it would dilute the point and it would just create really two blog posts that are really super similar using the relative or related topics and keywords from Rank IQ that I get. And especially with me doing butterfly nebula effects. So what I'm gonna do is just use the AI powered option here for the SEO optimization, which here they state what they will do. We will analyze top ranking pages and extract extract up to 100 topically relevant keywords and entities to use in this article. This results in a much more comprehensive article that has a better chance of ranking. Of course, that option is still in beta, so they brought out bulk mode and then they have SEO optimization mode. So they're currently improving this and making it good. I've been using the excited tone of voice and here you can use the real-time search results. What you don't see obviously here is the ability or the chance to see the outline. They do have advanced options here where you can add more information. So we will go ahead and add our information into the extra prompt, the blog post section, 12th grade with analogies. I like the way this comes out because I like when I instruct it, Koala in this case, telling Koala to let ChatGPT know to go deep at a 12th grade level, but keep it at a fifth grade reading level as well as make it interesting with analogies and real world examples. And then at that point, again, you have your three keywords, one per line, and then inside of bulk mode, you're just going to hit bulk create. This is going to queue the articles, and then here you can see you have an article in process, and then you have three articles in the queue. 
Of course, I have common interesting facts and comment facts for kids and butterfly nebula facts, and that's highlighting everything. So you can see the ones where it's creating the outline and then adding to the queue. So that is processing in the background, meaning I can move around in Koala freely as I want. And then Big Bang Theory Universe facts and black hole facts for kids are finished and you click a view. And then of course you can see here, it takes you back into what we're used to when we have the article that we can then copy, take over to Grooblog and then edit. And then here are your details. You can see the language, article type, point of view, the target keyword, site sources, SEO optimization level was set to automatic. I was wanting to see if it mentioned bulk mode in here, but it doesn't, so we can't keep track of it there. But we know we did that in bulk mode. And at this point, bulk mode doesn't really mean much to me, especially because I'm not using the WordPress integration with Koala. So I literally have to copy and paste this over into Grooblog. I don't have any integration. Of course, this integrates with like Zapier and things like of that nature. So there might be some process where you'd want to zap it over to to a uh, Google Sheet or something. I'm not really sure what you'd want to do at that point. For me, I haven't built in that level of automation because I'm still playing or I still put myself in the middle of the AI producing the content and me producing a finished product over on Grooblog. And that goes back to as well, actually going at some point, probably at the 50 blog post mark and really looking at what we have as far as blog posts that are ranking and then maybe enhancing those. And just even if they're not ranking, just thinking if someone lands on the site, I want them to get the best experience possible and taking those images that we can find over at NASA that we have the rights to use, that they're letting us use. We can take those over and add the images in and tell a better story in our blog post. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to rank and bank these blog posts. But also when someone lands there, if they do find the result, I want them to have a good experience and a good experience in this niche, in my opinion, is going to have to include photos so they can see exactly what the AI wrote with the pictures, being able to read what the AI wrote and see the images that NASA will provide and marry those up, I think provides the best value and gives the reader the experience they're looking for when they're searching for things around space, astronomy, cosmology, and fun facts all served up by Google on Grooblog, written by AI, with me taking a little bit of time to figure out the best way to find the best images to really round out the article. Day 30 coming up tomorrow. See you in that one and I'll talk to you later.